This is an Industria 2600 streetlight and it's been destroyed by druggy vandals. I first noticed this on the 30th and I immediately reported it because it was very dangerous. I even had to switch the column off because it was still live. The lantern was nowhere to be seen, so I assumed they'd thrown it into the lake. But as I was walking down the path a day later, I spotted the remains. 350 meters away from the pole, the remains were strewn about the pathway. The photo cell was detached, the canopy was detached, all the insides were out, and the bowl was broken to pieces. I figured it was unsalvageable, but decided I'd give it a go anyway. I came back with a bag to collect the remains, and picked up all that I could get. I brought it home, and gave it a clean, and a brand new bowl from my collection of spares, and this is what it ended up looking like after it was put back together. However, it still didn't work. The main reason for that is a lot of the components are extremely old, and the street light flickered anyway when it was was working. It went on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and it just kept up like that. I figured it was a problem with the ballast or the igniter. So I just took them all out. The ballast which didn't work at all, the igniter worked but the capacitor was destroyed by wasps which previously had lived in the lantern. Literally it was like a graveyard in there. I opened it up and hundreds of dead, dried up wasps fell out. Uh, but once they were all cleaned out and everything was sorted, I installed this ballast. Here it is all installed. And the moment of truth, will it work? And yes, it works. This lantern, which was left for dead, basically, it was destroyed, there was no bringing it back. I managed to fix it somehow. I am surprised I managed to do that. This is now my seventh WRTL 2600 in the collection and I love this lantern more than ever. And here's some bonus pictures which didn't go into the video originally.